Hi everyone, it's Ashley Gilligan, independent consultant with Pink Zebra, and I have a really fun video for you guys today. If you end up liking the video or if you don't like the video, please give it a thumbs up either way. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, whether you are a consultant, a new and old consultant, whichever, um, or if you're just looking for a direct sales company to join, or if you just randomly came across this video, please do subscribe because I have a lot of fun content. Um, on my channel already, but also planned for the future. So I would hate for you guys to miss out. Um, if you or someone you know might be interested in Pink Zebra, all of my uh, contact information and social media is going to be in the description box below um, for you guys to check out. And if you don't know what Pink Zebra is, where have you been? Seriously. Okay, so the purpose of this video today is because my four year anniversary with Pink Zebra um, is coming up here in a few days, which is insane to me. I cannot believe four years ago, I made the decision to join Pink Zebra. It was super on a whim and maybe I need to make a separate video on how I became a consultant because um, I don't know, it would just make this video super, super long. It's not really a long story, but I don't want to ramble like I am now. So four years ago, I decided to join Pink Zebra, May 1st, 2015. And I have this file folder that has been in my desk ever since I joined. Um, and I have saved every single catalog that I have gone through each and every season, each and every year for the past four years, starting with the spring and summer 2015 catalog and ending with the catalog that we're currently in, which is our spring um, and summer catalog for 2019. So I just want to take a trip down memory lane with you all. If you're an old consultant, if you've been with the company for a few years, um, this might be fun for you and kind of nostalgic like it is for me. I have not looked at some of these old catalogs for a very long time, so I'm excited just to flip through. Obviously, I'm not going to show you every single page or every single product, but I kind of want to flip through and just show you guys how far Pink Zebra has come in such a short amount of time. Um, I'm so passionate about this company and I hope that if you do click on some of my videos on my channel you will see that. I hope that you can see that in this video today as well. So like I said, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and let's just go ahead and jump right into this. By the way, I have a few products here on my table and right here on the floor that I want to share with you guys as I go through the catalog because there's just some products that I will never get rid of. Some stuff that has just been with me. They're the OG Pink Zebra products that I started out with, so I could never get rid of them. I'm in, just in love with them. They're like my children. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in and start with catalog number one, which is the 2015 catalog for the spring and summer. Okay, you guys ready? Here it is. <laughs> definitely, definitely a different look than our current spring and summer catalog. Um, it's just... <laughs> It's not the prettiest, I will admit, but um, this was four years ago and, you know, styles and stuff like that definitely were different. Um, if you notice, this catalog is in the landscape um, style, which is the side to side style. Currently, our catalog is portrait and it's up and down. Um, I definitely love the portrait one a lot better, but this is what we were working with back in the day. So, okay, this is fun for me because I'm seeing like all this stuff, um, fresh juicy pineapple still in here. I really liked this page. I kind of hope they bring something like it back. It's a recipe page. So like it shows you different sprinkle fragrances like this one right here with the pineapple. It shows you just different recipes. This one is, um, wait a second. These aren't recipes. I lied. Never mind. It says seven fresh new fragrances. Golly jeepers. <laughs> It says that right here. I don't know what I'm what I'm talking about. Um, don't listen to me. Um, it's not recipes, but I do like that it features. Oops, out of focus. I do like that it features some of the you know scents that were new. Okay, so this is how the sprinkle lineup used to look, you guys. When I very first joined, it was this huge page full of sprinkles. See all that? Okay, we had a lot of sprinkles when I joined, which um, I'm excited about because we actually still have a lot of sprinkles. One thing that has definitely changed um, in the past four years is our, um, our carton page. So you can buy, if you know Pink Zebra, you can buy a jar of sprinkles, which is 3.75 ounces, or you can get a carton, which is a whole pound. Um, currently, um, we have a huge 
huge section of carton. So basically whatever you get in the jar you can get in the carton now whereas only some of the fragrances were available in cartons back when I first joined which kind of sucked because um, there was a lot of times where I would find a fragrance that I loved or that my customers loved but I couldn't buy it in the carton. Um, okay here is a fun page. This has two products in it that I'm going to show you. So here's just some of the featured um, simmering lights. Okay, we've got the weather vane. We have the moose antlers. I don't even remember what this one was called. We've got the brown branches shade. And then we've got cute little chef pig. Okay, two of these I do have. Can you guys guess what they're going to be? Um, this is one that I just fell in love with when I first joined. It's funny because farmhouse is not my style that much. I mean, I like it, but my house is definitely not a farmhouse style decorated house. But it is the, um, I'll back up a little bit, it's the weather vane shade. And this one has always been super duper popular, like super popular. It's got the, of course, you know, weather vane up top here and it's wood and it's metal and it's just really, really cute. I do still have this in my home. Um, I'll never get rid of it just because like it's so beat up and dusty that I could never really sell it. I don't have the original box. I'm pretty sure that wax has, yep, there's still wax on one side of it. So it's not like I'm just going to trash it because it's not really my style, but I just loved this. It was so fun. Um, it looks really cute with actually the gold simmering light or the crackle warmers. So I really do love this, even though it's not super my style. Um, I think that if we ever had anything like this again, it would look amazing with our farmhouse um, metal um, accent shade. So there's that. And then second is my little baby that sat on my kitchen counter for the longest time um he has finally retired himself to the hutch on my desk and that is of course chef pig how cute is he so adorable he actually has <laughs> glasses that are removable so they're stuck in the back of his little head and I cannot tell you the amount of times that my children or my husband in the kitchen when, oh my gosh, I just bent his glasses. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, you guys. His glasses just broke. I just broke Chef Pig's glasses. <laughs> no. Well, guess who's a welder? It's my husband. Oh my gosh, I just broke Chef Pig's glasses. <gasps> Poor little guy. I feel so sad. Okay, my husband can fix this easy peasy for sure. But anyway, um, I don't know. I mean, he's cute without the glasses too, but he looks like a person normally would without glasses when you're used to seeing him with glasses, if you know what I'm saying. So sorry about that. I love you. He's so cute. And I just broke his glasses live on a freaking video. How silly of me. Um, what I was going to say Maybe I already said it, but my husband and my kids used to always knock his glasses off and it drove me crazy. Um, but we'll get these fixed. Sorry, Piggy. So cute. Okay. <sighs> this is probably going to take a while. I'm just starting to realize. So let's pick up the pace here. Okay. Here's another one. Here's a page that was super duper popular. Another one that a lot of people loved was this. Okay. So there's the adorable Branta shade. A lot of people really love that one. Another one that I am going to show you is the gorgeous um, white church shade. I totally lucked out with this one because um, a customer of mine actually got um, one of these as a hostess reward order. And the panels are glass all the way around. And the panel on hers in the back was actually broken out. So Pink Zebra replaced um, hers and I got to keep this one which is a perk for sure I felt bad that they had to replace it oh, there's my camera can you see it in the reflection of the glass um, and my camera stand and everything but uh, I just love this a lot of people compliment this um, when they come into my home there it is kind of it's so pretty a lot of people love this um, the door opens which is fine and it's just it's beautiful um it looks great with anything any type of warmer um simmering light under it it looks great with the crackle printed um you know it's glass on all sides minus the back so um it just looks cute you can see through it so um another one that i really really loved and i kicked myself in the butt um these went on sale a few years ago as a closeout item and i didn't get to it quick enough um it's so cute for valentine's day it's this cute red um, lantern style. Gosh, I wish I could show you guys everything in here, but I just can't. Um, I wish that they'd bring this one back. 
only white or pink and then let us put a white simmering light under it wouldn't that be so cool um oh this one was super popular too so back in the day which i kind of wish that they would have something like this again this was a seasonal catalog just like right in the middle it's just kind of like an insert that you could actually pull out um but i really liked this because you could um, I don't know, maybe they could do like, you know, close out products or something in this little catalog, like an outlet catalog, I think would be fun. I loved this, um, a lot. This is the beehive shade and it had like this little adorable bee on it with little, um, I don't know, rhinestones and stuff that you could take off and put back on. So, um, I think that's about it for this catalog. I'm trying to go through to see... If there's anything else in here that I absolutely loved. This is kind of funny. I forgot about this. So we used to have this uh, lighthouse shade. But now we have one that's blue and it's a lot bigger. So how funny is that? Oh my gosh. Our simmer pots. Sorry Pink Zebra if somebody's watching this from home office. But this was a horrible lineup of simmer pots. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so ugly. Some of them, okay, so the solid colors are fine. We had like a maroon, a black, a white, and a red, and then like the sand color, but look at these ones, how terrible they are. And I thought they were so cute back in the day. And I look at them now and I'm just like, oh. Like that red one, I guess is kind of cute. The red with the, um, you know, patterns, but no not nearly as adorable as what we have now um we had more of a candle variety back then um but our candles are you know less now but they're way better quality they're a lot cuter and all of our candles come with lids now which are great for gift giving um we had soaps and lotions you guys we get a lot of new customer or consultants ask if we have um lotions and we actually used to we had lotion and soap they were huge and i actually have a couple i should have brought in to show you guys how big they were um, but, uh, they came with little, well, they didn't come with, but you could purchase a little caddy, like these ones here, these little metal things. So you could actually like hold your soap and lotion on the countertop and it looked really cute. So that is, um, you know, that catalog, that's the 2015 spring and summer. So let's move along to the next one. Okay. All right, here's the next one. This is for fall 2015, 2016. This is when our adorable woolies came out, you guys. And we had an adorable fox, hedgehog, and a moose. And um, to this day, we still have woolies. They're so, so, so cute. Here is our gorgeous owners, Tom and Kelly Gaines. These are the co-founders of Pink Zebra. They are a married couple with many, many years of home fragrance experience. Um, they've worked for companies like Bath and Body Works and other just major um, retailers for home fragrance. I actually had the pleasure of meeting Tom and Kelly last year, 2018, um, at the Pink Zebra reunion in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm hoping, crossing my fingers and trying to make plans to go to reunion this year, which is in Phoenix, Arizona, which is going to be amazing. Um, Right off the bat, I see this cute little hedgehog, which was definitely, definitely a hot seller for a lot of us. Um, this guy sold out a few different times. Isn't that so, so cute? I think that it's just so cute for the spring and summer. Um, ooh, so yeah, we had a lot of different products back then, you guys. This is our lineup for simmering lights that were solid. We had orange, we had the candle glow. Oh wait, what's that? No, that's not candle glow. That's a, that's a white one. We had a brown and then we had like this, I think it was called Merlot. So um, this catalog had some funky Halloween accent shades in it, which was fun. This was a fun catalog. This catalog, I remember um, it being very, very exciting because it was my very first catalog change. Um, not super impressed looking back at our Christmas lineup, honestly, but back then, I mean, it was the bee's knees because that's what we were working with. Our stuff has just, um, oh, just, it's changed so much. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. The whiskey jug. How cool is that? This is something that needs to make a comeback. If you are a consultant who has been with Pink Zebra when this catalog was a thing, or if you were a customer or whatever, 
you know, you know how many times. I think this one sold out three times. Um, super, super crazy. Okay, so let's look through a little bit more. I'm not really seeing a whole lot that I was super, super obsessed with. Um, Simmer Pots got a little bit better this catalog. We ended up getting a turquoise Simmer Pot, which was fun. That's our Simmer Pot lineup for that catalog. And let's see what else there is. Um, candle lineup was good. This was a very big change for the photos compared to the last catalog. We had cute little martini glasses. Okay, so this right here was like, oh my gosh, everyone freaked out over this photo. You see that? Those are all of our um, Soaks fragrance oils that we currently have that I rave about all the time. Um, this was back when it was not skin safe. So now our soaks are actually clear. Their clear liquid looks just like water, only it's oily. And it can be used on the skin or wherever else you want to put it. Um, and like I said, this is when the cute little woolies came out. And then we also had this cute little, I say little, it was actually massive, um, tree. And I need a new paisley so bad. I've never had one of these before, but now they're currently not um, selling those. So that sucks. And I hope that that makes a comeback as well. Um, we had some holiday woolies, which I wasn't impressed with, so I won't show you those. But um, in a nutshell, this was a hot commodity, this catalog. Everything in here, people went cray cray for. And like I said, especially me, because that was my first catalog change. So moving on to the next catalog, Spring and Summer 2016. This is another one that blew my mind because, again, it was a catalog change. It was so much fun. I remember when this catalog launched, um, I went out to my front yard and I took a picture like this, all excited about this catalog because, oh crap, my husband's home. What is he doing home so early? I guess he's not that early. He got off at 3.30. Um, but anyway, I was just so excited about it, and that's my advertising. I just took a picture with the catalog, and it completely blew up. Um, so next is a fun page. This was um, our Country Charm page. That's what they called it. We had this adorable little white teepee accent shade. We had this blue cool one, and then... Freddy the Frog came along. And I do have a Freddy the Frog right here. So this is not my typical decor. This seems like something that should be out in your garden. But actually, I put him out every single spring and summer um, on the front table in the entry of my house because it's just cute and it's fun. And I mean, I have little kids. So having stuff like this is fun. I love how the warmer shines through on his belly and just all over. Um, and he's really a heavy, um, he's like a resin. He looks ceramic, but he's like a hard resin. Um, so super duper cute, and I love my Freddy the Frog. Okay, so the next thing I just found is in the Forever Boho section, and it is this cute, cute, cute cactus flower shade, which I have, and I should have brought it in here. Hold on a second, let me go get it, actually, because I have to show that to you guys. It is so, so cute. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I got it. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, not grabbing this thing. Here it is, the Cactus Flower Shade. It's probably super dusty. Um, it's so pretty. I just love this so much. I love anything cactus, succulents. Um, so when we got this, I was just like, heck yeah, I need this one for my home. It's a little bit dinged up. It's a little bit dirty. I have to scrub it down every once in a while because it does normally stay in the kitchen. Um, I just bring it out every spring and summer. I think it's fun. I think it's cute. Um, it's huge. You guys can tell up against my head, go and focus, how big it is. So, and there's my son's school bus coming. So hold on a second. are settled down now. Um, next that I found that was a hot hot commodity was Winston the Bulldog which obviously is a bulldog accent shade. Um, a lot of people went crazy over this so apparently a lot of people have bulldogs or just dog lovers in general. Um, my 10 year old son has had this in his room I guess since 2016 in the spring so he's had it for three years um, with a turquoise uh, simmering light in the back of it and it is just so cute just a nice little touch for his room since he does love dogs and animals in general. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I absolutely couldn't live without. Um, Simmer Pot lineup 
was this. We had like, I don't know, funky colors, lime greens, blues, all that good stuff. So we had a pretty decent lineup back then for simmer pots. Um, soaks were getting a little bit more popular. So we actually got new woolies this catalog, which was fun. We had the little um, elephant, right? Yeah, we had the elephant. Um, what is that? A longhorn? And we had the bear and the cute little duck, which is adorable. So Woolies started kind of getting more popular. We had more naked products. So we had this, we had this naked bird. We had a naked fish. Um, we had these cute little, and I kind of wish that they'd bring this back, only maybe not birds, but they were these birds right here. Let's see if it'll focus. And they clipped onto your car air freshener. And there's another one right here. And they were cute because you could soak them. They worked with the Soaks Fragrance Oil. So you could soak them and, um, you know, just put them, um, you know, clip them wherever you wanted fragrance, basically. But in the car was definitely where people did it the most. Um, that's what she said. Um, cut that out. Please cut that out. That was really stupid. Um, next is the Fall and Winter 2016 catalog. Uh, this one, the shade. <laughs> Sorry, Pink Zebra, if you're watching, but it was just downright weird. At least in my opinion, it was pretty popular, though, which is funny. So maybe I'm just the weird one, but um, I'll show it to you because it was just, like, so funny. Um, this one was really cute, this mirror terrarium. And I kind of wish that I had it now that I look back because looking at it, it's really super cute. Um, this was the year that the new and improved church shade came out so instead of the white one I showed you guys earlier it switched to brown which I kind of regret not having that one too um okay so here it is the steampunk horse this is the one I said was weird that's on the front of the catalog um it was massive like you can tell the size of the simmering light in there compared to the horse the horse is huge um this was just kind of like a funky fresh catalog we had this cool thing, which we still have. It's the motorcycle. Um, it had a plane. It had the cool new um, windmill shade, which I actually have too. I wish I would have brought that one too, but um, I could not wait to get my hands on the windmill. I remember that so, um, so much that I just really, really was obsessed with it. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else um, that I couldn't live without. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Um, we had like some fun... Um, Christmassy things, which I do have, like this one right here is the Letters to Santa mailbox. And, um, I don't know, we had some, like, nativity, um, type stuff and let it snow. So those were kind of fun. And, uh, it was just always fun to switch seasons. Um, I don't know, just because it's fun to seasonally decorate. Um, here is our simmer pot lineup then. So we had just browns and different like camouflage um, we had that really dark pretty turquoise and then the light turquoise and the brown so that is about it for this catalog I'm trying to see um, oh our bobble bodies came out this year this was fun I have one customer who has collected every single bobble body that we've ever had which is cool for me um, we've had just all kinds of different ones over the years for the seasons. Um, next, we're moving on to the spring and summer 2017 catalog. This was also a really fun catalog. It's crazy to look back to see these products because it doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. That's what's kind of tripping me out with this because I have this right here. It's the Aztec glass accent shade and it doesn't seem like it came out that long ago. Two years ago, this was popular and um, I have that in my bedroom actually now, but it just seems like these just literally launched, which is crazy to me. Um, so let's go through. This one had a lot of like boho type stuff. So a lot of the um, Aztec type prints and like the TP. This one was a lot of fun and I really, really wish I would have got my hands on that when it was out. Um, the cactus flower, um, a lot of the rustic-y stuff was popular at this time. So we had, um, you know, the antlers, the whiskey barrel. We had this, whatever that is there, just a square thing with stars on it. Um, 
This was actually the catalog, if I remember right, that started with the free shipping over $49.99, which was awesome. And again, that sounds crazy that that was two years ago, but it was. Um, I think that's one of my most favorite things about being a Pink Zebra consultant is being able to offer that free shipping for my customers. Not a lot of companies do that, by the way. So um, this one right here I have still, um, I'd say it's a favorite. It was called Vintage Chic. And what it was was actually a, a set. So it was a um, accent shade with a candle jar. I don't know. The details on it was pretty. A lot of people actually didn't like that one, which was surprising. I think that it definitely did better justice when it was lit up rather than just looking at it without the light on. Um, but that's just my opinion. And then here's our steampunk page. So this was definitely the year of you know, I don't know, different products. Can you even see any of those? Like that one right there is like a, what do you even call that? Oh, I guess it's a railway signal. So there was just a lot of um, metal in this catalog. We had a um, slot machine. So I don't know, just different stuff. We had dice. Definitely, definitely a different look, um, but that's what was in that year. So Simmer Pot lineup, still not the greatest in my opinion. Um, our mason jar candle glasses came out that year, which was super fun and exciting. Um, they come with glass, um, you know, candle jars with the wicks and the metal lid, which is nice because it's just like a canning jar. Um, so that's that for that catalog. And let's move over to the fall and winter 2017, 2018. Um, we're nearing the end. So are we even going in order? No, because we just got through, no, that's a spring and summer 2017. Okay, this is right. Fall and winter 2017, 2018. So this is when we came out with this cool um, world globe accent shade. And this must have been, because it says it right here, um, 2017 in the fall is when our soaks were reborn. So... That is our new Soaks Fragrance Oil, and that is currently what it looks like. So let me read this to you. We are thrilled to announce that all Soaks fragrances have been reformulated. Not only are they water clear, but all scents are now skin set, ugh, skin safe and pet safe. We're also introducing a nifty spray pump with every bottle, 25 fragrances. So um, at this time is when we you know, announce that, and we have a spray, or a squirt cap, excuse me, and then we have a spray, um, Maybe you can focus. Can you not focus from that far away? Anyway, we have a spray, a squirt and a spray, you know, automizer. I've shown it to you guys plenty of times before. But anyway, that is when that came out, which was just really exciting because, like I said before, we couldn't actually use it on our skin. Here, let me scoot back just a tad so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so this is when things started getting real with the cartons, okay? This is when the lineup for the cartons started getting real because, like I said before, we were limited on what we could purchase. Um, and that was just really nice because we could actually get just about everything in the, um, you know, catalog in a carton. So this is the year that we also came out with the printed simmering lights. So we started out with the map and then the, I believe it was Aztec printed. You can see that's like a world map and the other one has like a cool... Um, oh, it was called Southwest, excuse me, not Aztec, but it had just a funky pattern on it, which was awesome. Um, so this is one of my favorite catalogs because it has some of my favorite decor items. Um, I actually have every single one of these on the pages. So this is our fairy tale pumpkin, which I actually have it um, up on my hutch. You can't see it, but I also have these cool funky witch boots. I have the cat, I have the pumpkin, I have the twig pumpkin, and then that one right there, if it'll focus, says, give thanks. So I have every single one of these. Um, you can tell I love to decorate for fall. Um, this is also, oh my gosh, this is, I think, one of my favorite catalogs ever, um, because this beautiful falling snow shade came out, which I have and I love, and it is humongous, and it's so pretty lit up. But then, are gorgeous I've raved about this plenty of times gingerbread came out and then of course I have the letters to Santa um, mailbox so hmm, 
dare I say this may be one of my other favorite catalogs. Um, I don't know, just such fun stuff in this catalog. Um, all kinds of different themes. Again, we had a lot of the boho in this one and um, some of the steam pump or steampunk, excuse me. I think this one was cool and I kind of regret not getting my hands on it because this would have looked really cool at the coffee bar in our kitchen, but it's an old school coffee grinder. So let's see, we have more steampunk, the world I already showed you, um, soaks were reborn, we already went over that. So and oh, we got more of the bobble bodies. So my one customer has every single one of these, the mouse, the gingerbread, the, um, nutcracker and then the little snowman so yeah super super fun um this is also the year that soaks jewelry came out which was fun didn't last super long with getting new stuff but it was fun nonetheless um this is just jewelry that you can soak and put soaks on which we still have just like a couple of different pieces um in the new catalog that is wearable like our dog collar but um I don't know as far as like jewelry jewelry we, we really don't do that anymore as much um or at all really so um next spring and summer 2018 this is the catalog why am I holding my hair like a whip this is the catalog that changed everything this is the new portrait style catalog get out of there my camera wants to focus on my face um this one was the game changer for sure this was a super popular one. It still is. It's that cute little, is it going to focus? Cute little lemonade jug. Um, so there's beautiful Tom and Kelly again. I love these people so dearly. They're just awesome. Really care about their consultants and the company as a whole. Um, just really excited to work for a company that is so amazing. I love them so very much. So Tom and Kelly, if you ever watch this, I heart you guys. Um, sprinkles their game is on point in this catalog we have a huge massive difference between this catalog and the first catalog for sure Ooh, now this was a fun page hues of blue so this is when we started coming out with like the nautical themed cool um more like a color scheme so this one right here Commit to Fragrance and Color was the title of this catalog. And um, this catalog definitely committed to color. So that was the hues of blue. And then if we move on, this will be sunny yellow, sky blue, and cool teal. So this page has, you know, yellows and blues and um, just fun, you know, different colored items. Um, yeah, super, super cool. I loved this catalog. I remember it quite well. Um, here's more of like the blues and the nautical type of, um, I guess these aren't really nautical, but like the paddle one is cute. A little bit nautical, I guess. Um, classic beige. This one was definitely um, a trio that was popular. We have the cool little picture frame. Of course, we have the sand simmer pot and then the um, flower what was that called metal oh it was called blooming vine accent shade with flower medallion so those three were definitely way popular um okay our crackle warmers crackle simmering lights came out in this catalog gold was definitely popular pretty pretty cool um it's so fun to see when these products actually launched um our very popular wine bottle came out in this catalog too i believe i don't remember seeing it in the other ones um, it's like literally a wine bottle. It looks exactly like a wine bottle with the bottom cut off. So, um, warm and inviting brown. This one has a lot of browns in it, which really matches any decor. We have the cute little chicken that came out. We have this one up here, which is the hot air balloon. Of course, the motorcycle, the retro radio was super popular at this time as well. It still is, and it's in the outlet store right now for like $9.00. By the time you guys see this video, it's going to be gone. Um, I don't know. We had a gray page. So, I don't know. This one just was fun because it went through different, um, you know, styles. Um, our Heroes program, our new Hope line, actually came out with this catalog. And at the time, we had the Hope Sunrise Simmering Light Warmer right there in the middle. 
me if it'll focus. That'd be awesome. Isn't that so, so pretty? It reminds me of like a, um, I don't know, like a sherbet type of ice cream. Um, this nautical pretty blue and white rope simmering light was really popular. I actually have this one in my living room. Um, so I don't know. So many fun new things. Our rose gold mercury glass simmering light came out. So if you guys haven't caught on to the trend going through all the different catalogs, um, things have definitely changed with our products. Over the years, we've added in more color, more fun, funky patterns, um, and just more of eclectic, I think, style. It's not so, dare I say, boring. Um, it wasn't boring when we started, or when I started, I should say, but um, I don't know. Things just kind of kept getting more and more exciting, and I think that is really what kept me with this company so long, um, other than building a client base and just really... Um, I don't know, holding myself at a high standard as a consultant, I think the more and more products we got, every catalog change, every policy change, or just in general, you know, a lot of things have changed, I think got me more and more excited every single year. And it just really um, made me grasp on even tighter to this company. So this page right here was a fun one. You can see this. Yes, those are French fries. Um, a donut, chicken, pig, this little ballerina was really popular. Um, those were weird. And we started getting different hangits, car air fresheners, and stuff like that. That right there was super popular. Can you tell what that is? It's a dream catcher um, for soaps, fragrance oils. So, yeah, like I said, the more and more time went by, the more and more better everything started to get. So I really did enjoy this catalog a lot. Um, next, we go into, this was literally last year. Oh my gosh. Fall in Love with Fragrance 2018. I loved this catalog as well. I think that this was one of my favorites as well. Um, Tom and Kelly again. They're so cute. They're so in love. They are so genuine and laid back and so, so much fun. We got to um, speak with them a lot last year at reunion, which was fun. Sprinkles have gotten better and better. Um, I am a very visual person. I think that this was a very aesthetically pleasing catalog, the way that everything is just set up and nice. Um, this is when our blend bash parties were introduced, which was... Um, well, actually, I take that back. Was it introduced at that time or before? I guess it was introduced at that time. What? I don't know. Time is just going by. I guess it seems like it's been longer than that, but I guess not. Um, I loved this, and I never got my hands on it. There's just so much stuff I love, and I have to really tell myself I don't need it. But then once it's kind of gone, you know, I'm like, oh, I really needed that. Um, I have this one. It's fun, fun for Halloween. The kids love it. It's the Stacked Pumpkins. The Haunted House was fun. This is when they introduced the black um, crackle accent or warmer black crackle simmering light, I should say. So that was a fun one. So many fun, fun things in this catalog. I'm trying to go and find some favorites because I know this video is long and if you guys have stuck by me this long, I really do appreciate it. This was a fun one too, this burgundy simmering light. A lot of people loved it so much. Maybe the camera will focus. There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, all this stuff in this catalog just really um, excited me. I loved it. The farmhouse page was popular, still is popular, honestly. We have this farmhouse accent shade now, which is really um a popular one that's the one that i was saying would look cute next to the wind or the weather vane that i showed you in the beginning of the video um simmer pot lineup eh, not the most impressive i won't show you it um simmering lights however these are all the warming shades that were um given options for and i liked this catalog because it's when it came with the option to buy the warming shades standalone without the base so that's our crackle warmers. We had a gold, um, a silver, a black, and a burgundy, and our printed and textured warmers. And then of course, just the solid colors. This one was a lot of fun. The orange textured, I really, really enjoyed it. I hope that they come out with more like that. Maybe in different tones and colors would be fun. Um, the little cute dinosaur came out. 
and the Woolies, which was amazing and fun. Soaps, finally. I just love our soaps. I need to do a complete separate video on soaps. Uh, the Bobble Body Witch actually has a permanent place on my desk hutch. Um, I have a hutch desk behind me that's huge and I keep a lot of products on it that are just discontinued or just from my personal stock that I like to keep out and she's definitely adorable and I just love her so she's out um, this one's a fun catalog as well on to winter 2018 you guys sprinkle all the way how fun is that catalog you guys and how cute sprinkle all the way somebody was very clever making up this catalog Tom and Kelly again, absolutely adorable, love them. Um, so much fun stuff. So this catalog, the fall into fragrance and then the sprinkle all the way, this was actually the first time that two separate seasonal catalogs were introduced with Pink Zebra. And this was a very exciting time as a consultant for us all because um, it just kind of split up the different seasons. Fall is a huge selling season with um, home decor in general, but especially with Pink Zebra. And then winter is another huge selling season. So for them to break up these two catalogs um, sales wise was definitely a great decision. Um, thank you so much Pink Zebra for doing that because it helped us consultants out a lot to kind of break up the two seasons. Um, and it was just really good for advertising. So I appreciated that a lot. Um, this catalog is stunning. The way that it's just put together is just so appealing and pretty. Um, the products in it were so cute. There's my gingerbread. That is forever going to be one of my favorites. I never got my hands on one of the little snowmen because they actually sold out right away. Um, Pink Saber was not anticipating such a high um, need. It's not really a need, but a high want for that product. And it sold out in like a couple of weeks and they weren't able to get any more back, which was kind of like uh, a lot of people were mad, but that's how it goes. They just were not expecting it to be so, um, you know, wanted. So another thing that was fun that I kind of like was like, uh, you know, but actually I ordered some. Actually, let me think about that. A friend ordered some and I ended up liking it so much that I got it for my own home. And there are these cute little trees. Can you see those? So you can use the Soaks fragrance oils on them. Um, I actually didn't put any Soaks on mine. I just set them out for decor. I have very skinny picture frame um, shelves on my wall behind our couch. And so those are so slender and cute that when I decorate for winter and Christmas, I'm actually able to put those up there and it's not like one of those bulky products that won't fit on a skinny shelf because I'm talking like a skinny shelf. So those fit up there perfectly and just add a little pop of color and Christmas in a place that I wouldn't normally be able to do. So I love that. Um, the Falling Snow Accent Shade again is just a favorite. Um, I got one of these pretty last minute, um, pretty close to the catalog change, but I decided to get one at the very end of winter because I knew I would regret it and I'm glad that I did get it. Um, going through here, trying to see what else caught my eye. Of course the burgundy was super super pretty and popular at the time um we got a new couple of simmer pots in this catalog which was fun we had an iridescent snowflake simmer pot and then a red um plaid so there's the iridescent snow and it was textured it was super cute and then we had the plaid which was a lot of fun um a lot of people really enjoyed those um, here's another couple of favorite products that were super popular. I actually have one of them. It was a cedar tree simmering light and then this coming home simmering light with the cute little, doesn't that remind you of like, what's the movie? Um, crap, what's the movie with Chevy, Chevy Chase, Chevy Chase, Chevy Chase. What's that called? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. It's like one of the most popular Christmas movies out there. Comment below if you can remember the name of it. Um, but yes, those are super cute. Just reminds me of just chopping down a Christmas tree like they did in the old days and slapping it on whatever car they had and driving it on home. Um, simmering lights started getting better and better in this catalog, I believe, because we started getting just, um, I don't know, funner little things. Um, not so much digging the camo, but I know a lot of people that's their style. So, um, Pink Zebra has got something for everyone, you guys. Um, we have a plaid one and just some fun. This one was fun. This is a 
uh, music notes. You know what? That would have been a really great gift for my son's music teacher. <gasps> I need to look to see. For some reason, I can't remember if it's in the current catalog. What am I doing? It's not. Crap. I need to try to get my hands on one of those. Stat. Um, not really seeing anything else worth showing. So that is the Sprinkle All the Way catalog. Another really fun one. And now we're going to go into the very last catalog, which is our current Spring Into Fragrance, Spring and Summer catalog. Hold on, that's my son's teacher. Okay, just want to make sure it's nothing super important. Um, here's our current catalog. You guys have maybe seen this in my last video that I showed, um, talking about all of my favorites from this specific catalog. If you haven't seen that, I will post it in the comments or the description box below and I'll put like a little i card if I can figure out how to do that as well. Um, so this catalog is exceptionally fun because um, I love how everything is categorized into the different categories of our fragrances. Botanical Gardens, Romantic and Exotic, Farm to Market, Sky and Water, Chef's Table, and Wellness. Um, this, I love this catalog so much. I'll probably rush through this because you guys have already seen it, but I have to give some honorable mentions to some of these things like the Diamond Terrarium Accent Shade. Um, there is the blue lighthouse that I'm talking about. So when I started, we had a white and now we have this beautiful navy. It's got some little specks of gold on it, which is fun. This is definitely a colorful page with the parrot and just the different types of colors and fun prints and stuff. That wood grain simmer pot has been a killer seller right now, as well as the succulent wooly because I mean, succulents are awesome. And what else do I love? What else do I love? I love this. And this is something that I'm going to get with my um, current party hostess rewards that I'm getting ready to close is this clock. Um, you know, I'm not like in love with it. Like, oh my gosh, that's so, so unique. I mean, in a way it's definitely unique, but the reason why I love it is because it's so timeless. Um, it's just a timeless thing. It's not like a specific style or a specific theme. It's just black and it's got a clock on it. So, I mean, that can go in anyone's home and, um, it's actually like useful because it can tell you the time, which is cool. So another favorite is this little setup right here. Love, love, love the Sunflower Simmering Light with the Birdcage Accent Shade. That combination is so, so, so cute. And next is another one that I showed in my favorites video. Is this... My video cut me off. Here's another one that I showed in my last favorites video of this catalog. It's this adorable White Branches Accent Shade. So, so cute. I love that. Let's see, let's see. I have so many favorites. Um, they really stepped up their game with the warmers in this catalog. This terracotta orange um, crackle shade up here in the corner is so pretty. Um, we have a purple now, which is pretty, and these fun prints down here. This one right here, the pictures just don't do it justice. I wish that it did. Um, this is a warmer that I recently gave away on my VIP group. Um, if you're not in there, all the information's in the description box. But I gave this warmer away. I wasn't super like excited about it looking at it in the catalog, but having it in person, it's stunning. So um, the customer who actually won that posted a picture of it in that VIP group if you guys are interested in checking that out. But anyway, um, we've got some cute like, I don't know, just different funky styles. This one right here is the Hope Blue Waves, which goes along with our Hope um, collection. And you know what, by the way, I should have mentioned this earlier, but in the summer um, of 2018, when I showed you guys that Hope Sunrise, that purplish um, orange one, or the pinkish orange one that looks like Sherbert, that is when we partnered up with Autism Speaks. So this Hope Blue Waves that I showed you is actually from the um, Hope line for Autism Speaks. And then that other one that I showed you that was, um, well here, look, let me just show you. This is what it was when it started for the Hope line with um, Hope Berry Chamomile as the sprinkle fragrance. And then for fall and winter, it was the Hope Frosted Sugar Cookie with the Burgundy Crackle Warmer. And 
And then in the current catalog, it is the Hope Blue Waves um, mixed with the, um, oh, Hope Blue Skies. So that's the new, um, I actually really liked how they had it on the back, but I like how they have a big, you know, feature of it in the catalog. So I'm not going to hold that against you, Pink Zebra, but I'm trying to go through to see what else are favorites of mine. I showed you the warmers, the simmering lights. Let me go ahead and show you real quick the simmer pots because I think that this year's lineup, this season's lineup, I should say, in this catalog is my favorite by far. Okay, so they're all pretty much my favorite, but I'll point out the ones that are absolutely my favorite. Absolutely, hands down, is the lemon simmer pot. It is so stinking cute. Um, next in line is this abstract tile. I really love this one right here. It's just not my style and I'll never have it in my home, but it's cute and it would look so cute in the bathroom. And then I really love the mermaid. Definitely fun for a little girl's room or just a teenager's room or a grown lady. It doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, our candle jar selection has definitely cleaned up on the page, which I love. I love the images that were captured of our candle jars. It's just clean and fresh. And I also love that Pink Zebra allows us to have all of these images from the catalog in back office for us to save and share to our customers. Um, this photo I love. Um, our soaks, just add soaks collection. So, so cute. We've got this naked crab, piggy, turtle, fish, duck, um, dinosaur, and chicken. And then we've got, of course, the little succulent woolly right in the middle. Um, this catalog has a lot of really great hang it and go cards for on the go. So for your car, for your locker, all of these right here, um, the avocado, the unicorn, the toucan, the emojis, all of these different ones, these have got to be my favorites. Let me see if the camera will focus. You can't see them exceptionally well, but they have llamas on them. I wish the camera would focus. They've got llamas. Screenshot this and zoom in. But um, anyway, they've got llamas on them. They're beaded, which is a lot of fun. Um, the loops on them are beaded. So you can just hang those in your locker, your car air fresh, or your um, rear view mirror, wherever you want to put them, honestly. And then, last but not least, this catalog was the catalog that um, our hostess rewards changed. So back when I joined Pink Zebra, up until this current catalog that we're in right now, we had um, free items like, how should I put this? So we could choose, hypothetically, just say someone had a party for you, $250 party, they would get one free and two half price items. But Pink Zebra has recently changed it to a $200 party gets $25 in free product and one half price. And that seems like, ooh, they're not giving you a whole lot, but actually the hostess rewards now are so much better than they were, even though they were amazing at the time. So that is all the catalogs. Last but not least, I wanted to show you, because this may give, I want to show all this to you guys just to give you some ideas if you are a consultant, but on a random envelope, I have put all of my labels that I have used over the years. Um, so like random, some of you might be like, oh, that's so stupid. Why does she save those? But actually, um, I really like saving these because I can refer back to them and remember like what I did before. So I might want to have like a new idea and I might go back to these and be like, oh, I really loved how I did that. So like on this one, I really love that I put, you probably won't be able to see it, but right here I have the Facebook and the Instagram symbol with the handles afterwards. So that's actually something looking at, I might be interested in doing. Um, and then inside here, it says Pink Zebra Biz Cards. I have kept all of my business cards over the years, starting with the first one, which was from Vistaprint. And it had the white little zebra stripes on it. This one was actually really cute. Um, I did like this one, but then this one I think was my absolute favorite. And I think this one was my favorite because it featured my little um, photo of sprinkles that I actually took a picture of. And uh, a lot of consultants used my photo for advertising and that was like the first time I was like, wow, people actually like the image that I took. Focus, I'm right here. Hello? Focus on my face, there you go. Um, and then here is my current card. So I don't really change 
um, my business cards up that often. But here's my current one. You can see it's definitely different. It's not um, rectangular anymore. It's actually a square. So it's got the sprinkle wall on it. It's got my personal customized logo. And on the back I've got my Pink Zebra Independent Consultant logo with some simmer pots and jars. Um, it's about time to update this, but I don't like spending money on them um, if, you know, I'm not run out. So I'm going to wait till I get a little bit closer to running out because I still have probably a hundred more business cards to go, which actually goes by pretty stinking fast. Um, so I'll probably be ordering some of those um, here soon and maybe changing up the design a little bit. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This was really fun for me to do, especially with my anniversary of four years with Pink Zebra. I cannot believe it. Um, if you have made it this far, my gosh, thank you so much for watching. This is a really long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's fun. It's nostalgic. And it's something that I think um, is just super interesting. At least I think so. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you are new to the world of Pink Zebra, um, feel free to message me on my Facebook business page, facebook.com slash Ashley's PZ. I'll have all the links in the description box below. If you'd like to message me with any questions that you may have about joining, um, I am your girl. I would love to help you. I would love to mentor you. And hopefully we can get you to the four year mark with Pink Zebra as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.